My guest today is Allison Hartnett. Allison, how are you today? Great. How about you, David? I'm doing fantastic. What do you do, Allison? So I work for the Microsoft Philanthropy Teals program, which brings equitable computer science to high schools. Teals program to uh, computer science to high schools. What um, is it? All high schools? Is it some high schools? What's what's going on there? So we're in about 500 high schools within the United States and British Columbia, Canada. We're also in four high schools in Juarez, Mexico. Um, mm. But our goal is to um, pair passionate volunteers in the tech industry who want to help bridge the divide in computer science. And they'll um, team teach computer science in a particular classroom throughout an academic year. What do you mean when you say divide in computer science? Well, that's a great question. So, you know, when we think about um, the tech industry, we know that it doesn't meet parity within the demographics of the United States, if we're just looking there. And it's the same thing, you know, when we look in the K-12 space and we look at how what what kids are getting in terms of computer science. And, and one of the things that I think, you know, is really passionate for me is that... Um, when you look at uh, um, the, the, the numbers, a kid who has had a computer science course in high school is six to eight times more likely to major in college. And so really having that foundation truly makes a difference. And so what we want to do is we want to give kids the opportunity to be exposed to computer science and, and not only, you know, um, within the lower grades. And I think that that's really important also for generating that interest, but also within that high school space. And we focus specifically on the high school space. Well, are kids not being exposed to it now? You know, some are, but when you look at the numbers, you know, a, a, a little over 50% of high schools actually even offer computer science. And when you actually break down those demographics, the kids who are actually um, enrolled in those classes tend to be white suburban males. And so when you look at the country, the country is not composed of white suburban males, although they are a wonderful demographic. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging my <laughs> demographic. Your, 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 your heritage, right? Um, <laughs> But at the same time, we were really working towards trying to find students from other areas and other demographics because we know that that might be, you know, the next great person who's going to invent that next technology that's truly going to make a difference in the world. And when we have more voices, that makes a difference. So that, make, that makes sense. So there's the inner city kids that aren't, they're not even aware that computer science is a field because they're not seeing it as they're growing up and going through their K-12 education. Right. In, in fact, you know, most inner city kids, the, the first college educated person they meet is their teacher. And that pretty much stays that way entirely through K-12. And so, uh, you know, um, I, ideally exposing students to, to more college, edu you know, more professions besides mm -hmm. those in their neighborhood is always a great thing. And so bringing those volunteers into the classroom is something that we're incredibly passionate about. Um, in addition, the other area that we always focus on is those rural areas where, again, you know, down the street, you're not going to have necessarily have a computer science professional, um, mm. but it's still just as important to learn computer science. What specifically is your team doing to address this? Great. So I um, specifically work. I'm based out of Kansas City, and my focus is mostly on Chicago and St. Louis and Kansas City. And Great cities. Really, Great cities. And really, my, my strong focus is in Chicago. We just launched Teals in Chicago this year. We were in seven schools, six of them were in the Chicago public schools, but they're all in, in the west and south side. Um, majority of black or African-American or Hispanic. Um, mm -hmm. Extraordinary schools with, with really, really great volunteers. And I think that that's the part that I, I'm really excited about, is those passionate volunteers just, just bridging the divide and bringing things into the classroom. Cool. What are the volunteers doing? So... The, great that you asked. I mean, you know, it really depends. So like um, one of my schools at the very top of the year, our volunteers split up the, the class roster list and they called every single parent to introduce themselves and to ask them how they're doing and what they can do to help. And more specifically, they invited them to an open house that was happening of, oh, you know, like October-ish to come in and see what their child is doing in computer science. And so it gave it a little bit of time for that ramp up, but at the same time, they had an opportunity to come and see all the great things that their kids are doing. Um, 
in another school, one of our volunteers um, has a gaming background, and um, the school has a um, game and like an esports center. So he's been working really hard to to really build up that esports center and, and um, create the 3D printer, and then actually kind of really connect that to what they're learning in class, which I think is just extraordinary when you're when That's you're thinking cool. about kind of what our volunteers do. Very cool. Are these volunteers are they Microsoft folks or are they just folks from the community? There are folks in the community. Microsoft tends to be our number one source of volunteers because we are a Microsoft philanthropy, which means that we're sponsored by Microsoft. Um, but at the same time, we have volunteers from all over the tech industry. And one of the things I really love is that it really is, um, you know, a, a community event that, you know, the tech industry is so great when the, when they say that there's a need to kind of step up and say, hey, what can I do to help? And so we really do. I mean, we have about 1,200 volunteers and they are from all over. There, There's ones who have gone through that tradition you know, um, college education, you know, versus the ones who, uh, you know, went through a boot camp or something along those lines. But, you know, they're all working in the industry and they're all passionate about bringing computer science to high schools. Uh, interesting. What, uh, what you said that um, there's, I can't remember if it was on camera or off camera, that there are a lot of high schools that are not even offering computer science classes. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you can address? It is. I mean, you know, um, it's, it's a little bit less than like 50% that are offering it. The numbers oh. just came out from code.org and I haven't memorized them all, but it, it depends on where you are regionally. But in general, most um, high schools aren't offering computer science and they're not offering it as a required course either, which is something that we really like to see, um, if nothing else, so that you just have that broad-based introduction. Technology is just going to be part of our world. And, you know, it, it is so now and, it, you know, having those, that computational knowledge is so important mm -hmm. now and in the future and just offering that is something that we really are passionate about. Yeah, I think uh, even if you're not going to be a computer scientist as a career, just having that base knowledge is helpful. Uh, just understanding really? things like the concept of what is machine learning? How, how can these people read all these documents in two days? That's no human mm -hmm. being can do that. Well, we own computers and computers have a thing and they can do that. And just the, the, as a society, we benefit from an educated right. population. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, think about like, you know, when we're talking about like pulling and we're talking about extrapolating data, all of that information is, it's incredibly important to have that knowledge. And as we use computers more often and more often to, to actually do our voting, it would be really helpful to know kind of how those computers are programmed and who's programming them. And there so. is a lot of misinformation <laughs> out there. Yeah, I'm sorry definitely. to be the one to tell you that. <laughs> I know. I know, but if you have those those skills where you can parse it apart, or you can or you can talk about you know where technology is with what what's on your cell phone and what people are tracking on your cell phone. Yeah. Um, what else? What else is your team doing? So um, we're part of Equitable Computer Science. And so in addition to the TEALS program, which is really, you know, the majority of what we do, we also work on collaborating with um, some of our grant partners that also are working to bring Equitable Computer Science into to the K-12 space, like Code.org or Computer Science Teachers Association, those sort of organizations kind of, you know, across the board, you know, we're working on managing those relationships and, and helping them scale their products or, you know, scale their services. Are they, um, so you say grant partners, are they donating money as well? We donate money, like, yeah, we as in Microsoft will donate money to them. And so kind of managing that a little bit. Um, oh, I see. We're the grantors, then they're the grantee. Grant. Got it. Okay. Right. And then they're, they're providing services to the schools. They're providing services to the schools or like, I mean, so code.org, um, the, the one thing that you might've heard from code.org is hour of code. Yeah. I've just been that a couple of times. Yeah, um, which is, for those who don't know, is for, during Computer Science Education Week, which is usually around the birthday of Grace Hopper. So, um, oh, When and, is Grace's yeah. birthday? I have to get her something. I, I, <laughs> I want to say December 9th, gonna, but don't quote me on I'm that. I'm going to bing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Grace Let's see if I'm Hopper birthday is December 9th. Is that what you said? That's what I said. You win a prize. It's recorded. <laughs> uh, so around that week, the idea is that every kid all around the world should do one hour of code. And so if you go to hourofcode.org, there are tons of easy to use exercise, you know, easy yeah. to use things that you can plug into a classroom. Um, you know, some of our partners like Minecraft will have ones that they come out with every year that are really fun. Um, yeah. you, you know, definitely, you know, if you have a kid in your life, spending some time exploring that with them or finding a, a school where, you know, hey, can I help make sure that this happens is a thing that I highly recommend that you do. 
That's really cool. The couple times that I did it, uh, I remember one time I went to a high school here in Chicago. Another time I went to a library, and the kids were like six years old. And I find things on, a, uh, might have been an hour at code.com, the exercise yeah. they could do. They didn't even have to, to be able to write words. They could no. drag and drop icons. It, yeah, it, um, it really is anywhere from like preschool to high school, and they have everything in between, which is really always fun to watch. So, uh, How do people get involved with your organization? How do they volunteer? Excellent question. You go to microsoft.com forward slash teals. And it, um, when you're there, you can find out all the information. There's a contact us um, little tab on there, and you can find out more information about us, get a hold of, you know, either myself or uh, one of my colleagues. Um, and then also, um, it's not live now, but in the spring, our application for volunteers usually opens in February. Um, and that that is available for schools right now is when we're actually looking for applications. So we're looking for schools. Um, and you can actually apply now if you're a school and you might be interested in, in having volunteers come into your classroom to help teach computer science. I am looking at the website right now, microsoft.com slash teals, and there's a button on here, right. become a teal school, which I think you just talked about. That's uh, uh, what does it mean to be a teal school? Great. So teal schools are those, those schools that are passionate about bringing computer science to us, to, to their students. Um, and to be a teal school, you need to identify a teacher who would be learning alongside those volunteers. And this is really critical. We, wa we want our volunteers to commit and, and they really provide a significant investment of time. But the whole idea of the reason why they're doing it is so that eventually that teacher can teach computer science on their own. So that, right. you know, the volunteers may be in the classroom for a couple of years. It's a one year commitment for a volunteer here, but the, the program usually takes a couple of years. And at the end, that teacher can te be part of our alumni network, and they, they're they able to teach it on their own. That's actually kind of one of the, the most gratifying things is, you know, to be with a teacher for a, n a number of years, watch them grow and expand, and then join off on yeah. the alumni network. Um, the sad thing is, is, of course, oftentimes their volunteers go with them because they've been with that teacher for a number of years. They've loved and adored those kids, and so they're, you know, they, they join often as the alumni volunteers also. But, oh, I see. Uh, uh, Allison, how long have you been with this organization? I've been here for four years. Four so, years. So that's yeah. an entire high school class that you've seen go through it. Have you, uh, that first year, <laughs> are there any of the kids that are, you have any stories about the kids' success stories? That is a great question. Um, you know, actually, my my first year, I have su success stories about teachers, and teachers, so please. you know, teacher, you know, it's really interesting because you can watch those those teachers that I engaged with that first year. They're actually all alumni teachers, and and the you know, and actually with alumni teacher volunteers. Um, so I I keep in touch with them at like CSTA meetings and that sort of thing. Um, but they're not part of our, our our daily ethos. Those teachers have have gone on, and they're they're adding coursework, they're expanding their their curriculum, their students are, are taking AP exams, which we find really important just yeah. as a way to measure how students are doing. Um, and so I, I watch, I get to watch the teachers grow. I don't actually get to spend a lot of time getting to know the students because for privacy reasons, we don't spend tons of time in those classrooms. I see. So, yeah. Uh, is there anything we haven't talked about that we should have? Let's see here. That is the, the big part of our TEALS program. I mean, I will, you know, I will say, you know, even if volunteering for TEALS isn't something that you're interested in at the moment, um, think about it and think about who in your network might be interested in. And if you can pass the word on, I'm sure that there's someone in your network who would love to volunteer for TEALS and we'd love yeah. to have them. There's always a, there's always a need. Uh, I can test that. I haven't worked with your organization, but I've done a lot of volunteering for the high school kids here in Chicago, and it is really gratifying. I, I get a lot more out of it than I give. Absolutely. That's exactly what our volunteers say, is that they just really enjoy the impact that they're making. Yeah. Uh, now, I have Microsoft.com slash Teals. Is that the best place to go for more information, and are there other places? No, that, that is the best place. That is That is our hub. We have all of our information there. Excellent. You can always follow us on social media. We're at, at Teals Program, all one word. At Teals Program. I'm going to follow you today. Excellent. Allison, thank you so much for your time. This has been really interesting. Thank you so much, David.
I love technology. I love all the things that I can do with technology, but I think the thing that I really enjoy most about it is the ability for me to connect closer with my friends and family.